Hey, things be happening. We've been waiting for this for a while. Somebody who actually moves wood. The start of our cabinet making adventures. And yes, the Capitan did get a haircut before this episode. If you like it, leave a comment. If you don't, well, sorry about your luck. Hey, <laughs> Our favorite little character. Watch this. Cerveza? Yes! Especial! Start of our new cabinet making adventure under the TV for the freezer. So first we gotta move all of our project list buckets out of the way. So that's what's the problem with this area, it becomes junk storage, and that's why we don't want it like this anymore. So see. Thank you, Jorge. Um Back in Freddy, there. thank you so much. Muchas gracias, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky food. Yeah, I'll take you, mess. Afuera. In the back Fire. cabin. Oh. See, don't worry, I clean now. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna organize, like, get everything out of the way first so we can start laying in the pieces, do a little trimming. And we'll see how we end up from there. Hopefully, we can get us something, an idea what it's gonna look like framed in here. New tools, <laughs> more power. <laughs> now don't hurt yourself. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, Sí, 
our framework. Just setting these down to the level because the lid's got to fit in on top. And then we get our one inch rail around the outside edge just like we have everywhere else on the boat. So that's what he's going to have to build afterwards. First we'll get this framed in, get the top seated, and then I want to see what he's got in mind for that corner. We'll go from there. That's a good start. Progress. And so ends day one with the framework roughed in. Next day, we start trimming. What are you doing? Just getting the rotor ready so we can put the edge on. Now, yeah, probably going to cinch the plastic mucho. a little bit. So va arrancar mucho, so tiene mucha cuchilla. Yeah, let's see. Let's try. The bit is a little bit big for the router. So it's going to cinch down on the plastic trim ring a little bit. So I got to just trim a little bit of the plastic ring out using the router. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. Hopefully. Power. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so Freddie has done a great job finding some beautiful matching teak for our interior and for the trim on here. We've got the perfect varnish to make it match everything. He's already, he had this machined, like physically machined from a big block of wood. So we've got all of these rails that are gonna go across the top of the edge of the, the plywood, the marine plywood here, just like so. You see how this is all routed out so that it will conceal the top edge, just like so. And you see when you put it on here, it lines up, he's got it so it perfectly covers right there, and then our lid is gonna sit right down perfectly inside. So it's very nice, he's got all the corners chamfered here. The only thing we need to do is put our taper on the outside edge of the wood that matches the rest of our teak trim over on the side of the boat here. So you see how these are all have chamfered edges, and that's what we've been working with, with this router bit. So I bought these router bits a while ago and we just had to rectify this one. It had a seized bearing, but uh, we just changed the bearing out and now this one is ready to go. So that is what's gonna put the edge on all of our trim to mount the rest of the boat. So that is next. Then we can mount our trim and start trimming the trim. Trimming the trim. Trimming the trim. Okay, ready. Mm-hmm, but I think so everybody will be happy because yeah, Freddy has a, a golden hand for this job. We're going to do it one section at a time, okay? But I said no, one about the other so okay? I don't have a brace or a trawl or anything to lock the wooden on, so I'm just going to use my knees. We'll do it this section, then we'll push it through a little bit, do another bit, and then we'll turn it around and do the other side. Okay, okay. Capitan. Ready? Ready. Ready, ready. You are ready, Freddy? You're in English.
Just shut up. Anybody need some tea? Shut up, please. Uh, shut up. We have teak for sale. Yeah, I know. Right, I'll make sure I don't track it into the boat. Yeah, I think so, and I use the boom immediately because big job. I didn't sorry because they make this job outside of me. apretarlo para poder hacerle los cortes. Okay, yo te lo... ver, espera, tómate un poquito que hace calor. <laughs> This is the energy drink uh, of the island. Vive Cien? No, it's Coca-Cola. Oh. Pure caffeine uh, and everything. Okay. Is the good one? Yes. En el medio le ponen estufa, ¿no? Sí, una silla. silla. Pero como esto se va a estar desarmando... Se va quitando toda, toda sí. la vez. No, pero cuando ya la masilla seca, ya queda la, la masilla pegada. Mm -hmm. All style. Always is the best. Old school. Yeah. One shaving at a time. Okay, and now we go to, for the cook. Mm. Awesome. Now we got to remember this still needs to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we can trim everything after we make our cuts. So we'll make this piece fit first, because this is the main door. That measurement there, right? That's where it normally opens. We'll go 22 and a half just to be safe. Okay, now 
Now we need to shave a little bit here, but we don't necessarily need to do it yet because once we make this cut, we're going to lose an eighth of inch material to the, the cut. So... You make a big cut before. This is an eighth of an inch over. So I'm going to make this side 22 and a half plus a an eighth. Just to be safe because then we can trim this side afterwards to make it flush. Okay, and then Freddy's piece of wood. We can do both of these cuts at the same time. Do you have the, the center board? Yeah. Okay, we'll have to do it outside, but once we make this cut, then we're gonna lay this on this board and cut the other piece. Okay. So we draw a line. We'll use this as our straight edge. Okay, do you want to then cut a little bit? Let me pull this up. But we got to cut on the outside of this edge. Deve okay. cortare un po' di sale. No, so, Freddy, deve cortare adentro, non para fuera. So we're going to cut it. We're going to leave that pencil mark on the wood. Okay. Deve decar che la la linea la linea che Okay, we have a good point, guys. Good machine. Time for the power. Yeah. Sorry, Dewalt, but this sucks. This is not acceptable. That's a fresh charge, and it's dead. <laughs> That's not acceptable. And he's new. It's he's brand new, yeah. right out of the box. Look, the tags are still on it. Yeah. <laughs> And the cut is more clean the same. With this machine is more clean the cut. Not perfect, but not horrible. <laughs> we can straighten that. It's a vehicle. Television. Just, just clear the TV by a quarter inch. Just what we want. Right, it's going to open this way, but I've only got braces on this side right now. Okay, we need uh, the same to stay very careful. Okay, so this piece, this is going to be our cross brace support for the entire lid system. So we need something in the center to support the weight of the two hinge lids. This is going to be bolted from this side and bolted to the wall on that side and it will support the weight of the centerpiece with the other two lids hinged on both sides. And then over there we'll have another support across that edge and over here we'll have another support across this edge. So the whole thing will be supported on all sides that will carry the weight so even if somebody needs to jump up here to get out the window or something like that, it's not just going to fall in. So mm. that's what we're working on next. The nice thing is with this thing underneath, everything will be in compression and not suspension. So it will all be compressive loads bearing down on their support. So 
End of day two, and we've got our lid cut into its three separate components, the reinforcing structure for below, and all the teak trim framed and ready. All in all, a great day, and thank you so much to our new buddy, Freddy. Be sure and stick around for next week's episode because brother Danny and I got invited out for a day of some crazy shit. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to want to miss it. That's a big remote control helicopter you got there, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> you have good perspective. You, you want to <laughs> launch? You want to, uh, how you say, drive? <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is new version from DJI. Nice. <laughs> This is where you get to see the power of Daniel Para. <laughs> Do not try this at home. We are semi-trained professionals with permission. <laughs> right? Good, very good. We have permission, right? Yes, authorization, <laughs> agree. Cuando estén listos. That's some crazy shit right there. <laughs> How you say hello the men of the or the horses in Canada? What's the name? I don't know. The man of the horses. <laughs> your friend of your channel. Oh, Jersey Jeff? Jersey Jeff! <laughs> Hello from Jersey Jays. You need to, to receive the impact more. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like this.